Hey guys, I am here talking you talking to you tonight about what to do after you've overindulged during the holidays and how to recover and um, get back on track with your health. Um, my name is Alyssa Cohen. I'm a functional diagnostic health coach and hormone expert. So, so I help women who struggle with period problems, um, heavy, heavy periods, no period, PM, PMS symptoms, <clears throat> and all the stuff that comes along with that. So um, weight that you can't seem to lose, fatigue, things like that. And I use uh, functional lab testing and health coaching to get, to get to the root cause of those symptoms. So today is Sunday, the Sunday after Thanksgiving, and I'm not going to lie, I definitely overindulged during... Well, we had two Thanksgivings, and one in particular I overindulged during... And so I wanted to talk a little bit about what I do to get back to normal and a healthy mindset around this overindulgence thing and things like that, because that is something that I've super struggled with in the past. Um, now, these days for me, I don't struggle with overindulging it nearly as much, especially because a lot of the places that we go have foods that I just choose not to eat. Like I just don't eat gluten anymore. Um... I will eat dairy here and there, so I did have a little bit of ice cream today. Um, but like desserts and things like that, like pumpkin pie, like I'm just not going to eat it because it has gluten in it and it makes me feel horrible, so it's not that big of a deal. But the problem is, like on Thursday to Thanksgiving, I brought some chocolate-covered almonds and some chocolate-covered um, candied ginger, and then my mother-in-law made um, a pumpkin cake that's gluten-free. And there's another like carrot loaf thing, so kind of carrot cakey that is also gluten free because they eat gluten free. So this is where the problem comes in where there's all these really delicious things to eat. And, um, you know, I'm like, okay, I'm just going to have a few almonds and maybe a piece of this cake and a piece of that cake and like I'll be good. Well, that was fine for a second. And then like an hour later, I'm like, I'm going to have more almonds. and I'm going to like eat a quarter of this cake <laughs> and things like that. And... You know, I generally eat pretty healthy on a day-to-day -day basis, so when I overdo things, I don't get too worried about it, but um, but the thing is that when I used to do this, or when I do this now, it just, it doesn't really bother me that much. I, you know, I chose to eat those things, and I'm not upset about it, and um, it doesn't bother me, it doesn't affect my conscious mind. But in the past, I used to beat myself up about this so much, and I would punish myself physically and mentally, and it, it just made the whole experience so much more, so much worse, because not only did I eat things that don't serve my body, but I also then sat there and beat myself up for a couple of days about what I ate, and that just amplifies the whole problem. So I'm going to talk to you about the do's and the don'ts of how to get back to that normal good eating habits that you have after the holidays. So one of the first things that I don't want you to do is don't go to the gym and exercise for an extra hour or an extra couple hours because you feel guilty for the quarter of the cake that you ate or the handful or two or three of almonds that you ate or chocolate covered almonds. Because when you beat yourself up, it just puts your body into more of that stress state. The reality is that you can't undo the food that you ate and no amount of punishment or, um, you know, whatever is going to undo that food. And so don't go beat yourself up at the gym, please. I used to do that. I've done it before. It doesn't serve us. Um, don't eat as few calories the next day as possible. Don't go on a fast. Don't go on a juice cleanse. Don't like starve yourself for a day or two because you feel guilty for the stuff that you ate the day before. Again, it puts our body into that state of stress. And just because we overdid the calories yesterday doesn't mean that today we should punish ourselves and torture ourselves for those choices that we made yesterday. So um, our bodies need nutrients. Our bodies need nutrients from fruits and vegetables and things like that to help cleanse those things that we shouldn't have maybe indulged in. And so eat the food, eat the food the next day. Um, 
And don't beat yourself up over and over again in your head and get frustrated with yourself. Thanks for the hearts, love it. Um, and don't get frustrated with yourself for the decisions that you've made because, again, we put ourselves in that stress state. And when, when we're in that stress state, the day after, the two days after, the three days after we overindulge at Thanksgiving or Christmas or whatever, it just puts our body at a d disadvantage for eating and, and assimilating the food that we're, the good food that we're choosing to eat. So stressing about it doesn't do any good either. Now I'm seeing all these things from the place of like, this was me. I would beat myself up. I would exercise for two or three hours. I would freak out, stress out, and be so upset with myself. But instead, I have learned to do these things. So do, after you overindulge for the holidays, do nourish your body with nutrient-dense foods. Get enough food the next day. Sometimes I even track my calories. I've been tracking my calories lately to make sure I'm getting enough food because I have a tendency to just under-eat, probably because of old habits and probably because I'm eating, you know, real quality food. But that means we need to, we need to get good nutrients in our body to maintain our energy levels to help our body detox from the stuff that we did eat the day before and we also the next day you might be craving some more sugar and things like that because you did eat a ton of sugar the day before and so you need to have the fat and the protein to help stabilize your blood sugar and make you feel good and feel satiated again and get you back on track so don't starve yourself don't do a juice cleanse eat the vegetables eat the vegetables for sure but don't 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 torture yourself like that um the next thing, do move your body. Like, I don't want you to sit on the couch the next day. You know, that's not the solution. But go back to your normal routine. So if it's a, a Friday after Thanksgiving and you normally work out on a Friday or whatever, do the workout that makes you feel good. But if you're with your family and you want to spend time with them, spend time with your family. Don't worry about the workout because that one day is not going to make a big difference in the over the big scheme of your year. Um... Or, you know, make a, make a group activity of it. Everyone goes on a walk together. Do some movement that nourishes your body and makes you feel good instead of using movement to torture yourself and to um, be remorseful about the food that you ate the day before. So do move for sure, but do movement that makes you feel good and is not torture to yourself. And then finally, do practice self-care and practice self-love. You know, instead of sitting in your, getting in your head and beating yourself up, Accept the decision that you made, bless the food that you had, bless the time that you had with your family, and move on and make good decisions the next day, get back on track right away, whatever that means for you. But love yourself, you know, the self-deprecating thoughts and the beating yourself up and having that pit in your stomach all day because you feel so guilty for all the stuff that you ate the day before, let it go, you know, just... This has been the hardest thing for me. And like, you know, honestly, the day after Thanksgiving this this year, when I did eat too much, I didn't give a shit because I chose to do it and I don't normally do it. So it's fine. It's whatever. So uh, I would love for you to tell me, actually, yeah, tell me, tell me what you do the day after you overindulge. Um, do you panic? Do you exercise more and do you eat less? Do you um, go on a crash diet for a few days or do you accept and move on? Do you nourish your body with good food the next day? Do you um, get right back on your healthy habits? You know, I'll tell you what my day looked like the day after Thanksgiving. I ate the amount of calories that I, that I needed to. I had some leftovers and things like that from Thanksgiving. I um, slept in. I went on a walk. I took some time for some self-care. While my husband went for, he said it was a planned two hour run, but he went for his two hour run and then he skipped lunch because he felt guilty. I'm not throwing him under the bus, but you know, we all have our food issues and sometimes we all work through those at a different, at different rate. So um, yeah, love yourself, move on and happy holidays. And yeah, we'll talk to you next week.